demystifying the ideology of feminism. Feminism, simply put, is advocacy for the equal rights of the sexes. Over the years, feminism has been demonized in the world and over. In Africa, feminism has been totally frowned upon as a taboo and demand for equality of the sexes has been seen as inappropriate. Feminism, feminists have been seen as people who demand for things that are not proper, like demanding for equal rights, demanding for um, suffrage, demanding for um, equal job opportunities. Notwithstanding, women the world over has been thriving. They have been trying to break that barrier. They have been working twice as hard as the men. Now, the visible challenges of feminism. One is the patriarchal system. The patriarchal system tilts towards supporting the men. They see the male folk as more superior than the women, which is not supposed to be. Second is inequality in the workforce. Women are not be being given equal rights. Women are being looked down upon when it comes to pay time. They are being given lesser, which is not supposed to be. First, individuals are supposed to be seen first before their sexuality. Individuals are supposed to be judged based on their productivity than their sexuality. Secondly, sex thirdly rather, sexual harassment. Feminism has been plagued with sexual harassment. Take, for instance, two out of ten or five girls have been sexually harassed through their lifetime. The African feminist is being pulled down by the society for not fitting into the patriarchal description, which says the females should bow down to the males. Now, feminism. Feminism goes beyond only women. A man can be a feminist as well. We have male feminists who stand for equal rights. Now, I'll take this question to the house, and especially the male in the house. Do you see feminism as a threat or a cause worthy for a fight? Well, thank you very much, Bola. That was a very wonderful one. Um, feminism has been misconstrued and... Um, it relies more on, feminism rests on two basic, basic pillars, gender e equality and gender equity. Mm -hmm. Now, you use the principles of equity to achieve equality. You ask me how, when you tell somebody gender equality, some people will, will say or jokingly or, 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 or unknowingly or, or sensibly make a remark that, oh, if a woman, can a woman leave this thing because a man can do this, so a woman should do that. That's not what feminism is. The principles of equality is saying women should be, have equal access to opportunities, jobs like you said in the tech world, or, or especially those that are male dominated. People should not be judged based on their, their, gender. their, their, their gender, but it should be more of their intellectual ability. Mm -hmm. And then the principle of equity is, let me give a very practical example. If a woman is going to be a, a manager somewhere or an engineer somewhere, for instance, you know she's a woman. She has to get pregnant at some point. Yeah. She has the right to get pregnant when she wants to get pregnant. And the company should give her the necessary support at that time because she's pregnant. That is equity because she's a woman. You won't say, oh, this is why we don't want her. Because people will say, we will deny her the opportunity because we don't want her to go on nine months, um, what they call nine months vacation, mm -hmm. or she will get pregnant. Therefore, we don't want a woman to occupy that position. That's not fair. Mm -hmm. So I guess that's what she's trying to say from the principle of equity to equality. Mm -hmm. Well, she threw it to the men in the house. I don't know why we're following that, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. But it's a very interesting and very sensitive topic. And um, because I'm a Twitter person, so there's a lot of falls on Twitter around it. In fact, it's a feminist coven <laughs> on Twitter, <laughs> you know. So, and they, I mean, the, the, the feminist um, group actually were the ones that pioneered, you know, um, the NSAS movement in a way. And they, that, for me, I think they did a very good job, right? Um, and that tells you how, how much organized women can be when given that opportunity. I don't believe that people are equal. No two human beings are equal. Even no two men are equal. I just believe in the, in the dynamics of give the right person the position and not your right person. So there is your right person, there is the right person. Now, if the right person is a male, then so be it. 
if the right person is female, so be it. Again, I understand that there's a lot of marginalization, which brings me back to the mental shift I was talking about earlier when Elijah spoke. You know, mm -hmm. we need to begin to deal with our mental programming around how we see women. If we begin to change these things, then we can begin to re-engineer. If we're going to change um, the, the narrative, it begins with changing and reprogramming our mindset around things like this. So I believe in the ideology of feminism. I mean, someone even said that these days, like um, Bola said, it's been demonized where it's now, it's now become a fight between men versus women. And it should be a fight for humanity, regardless of who you are. So because when you take a concept that is really beautiful, that is really sensible, when you take that to the extreme, what happens is it loses its meaning. And what we're doing gradually is taking feminism to the extreme side of it, such that men begin to think feminism is about women. Wherever you see men, trample upon them. And that's not what it is. Anyway, I think, um, okay. <laughs> so, so sorry. Okay, I think African first. men are the ones demonizing this whole mo movement. Sorry. And I think the whole um, ideology of feminism, like when you go abroad, like you get it, like it's not about we women being better than men or give us everything because we are women. No, mm. it's about like give us, um, let's be equal. If, I, if I'm fit for this job, same as um, you are, same as Victor is, let us get the same um, pay for the same job. That, I mean, that's what like the basics. basics of feminism. But when you bring it to Africa, and this is because um, in key positions, both in governmental, in corporate, and everywhere, men are the ones, are the key holders mm. in, in key positions. And mm. then women would have to come in, have to be able to walk their way through the whole um, distance and, um, and please men. When, when I say please, not in the literal sense, but like you have to please men. And it's still happening now. Men are still like key holders in some, in some positions. And um, there was a story that came out last two weeks about okay. a big um, media mogul. I won't mention her name. She owns a big um, studio. She used to be on... Um, DSTV, but she's no longer there. And then they kept, they said so many things about us sleeping with top governmental um, people officials. and officials, and then sleeping with this, that, 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 that to get to where she is now. But these people that you say she, she's sleeping with, have you mentioned one woman in that key position? In all the key positions that you said she slept with this when she got here, then she slept with this. They are all men in those positions. They are all men, no woman. So you're saying she slept with them, um, she slept with all the men in those key positions. Why are we not fighting for women to be in those positions? So another woman don't have to sleep with all men that are in those key and positions. And then repeat that cycle. Why are we not placing women in those um, um, key positions? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Because, okay, now she has done it. The, I'm... I'm, I'm I'm a, um, what's it called? I'm a millennial. I'm Maybe not an age man. Now I'm trying to <laughs> climb the ladder. It's still the same men. It's still men in the key position. So will I have to sleep with all of them also to get to my position? And then I have a younger sister who is a Gen Z. Will she have to sleep with this, uh, all men again in these key positions? What are we doing about, um, about like changing the, the, narrative. The, the, the narrative so that it, the cycle won't repeat itself? Well, you, you are right anyway, your assertions. The thing is, from what Victor said, it's true that no <coughs> individual, no two individual, be it a man and a woman, will be equal in intellect, mm -hmm. reasoning, and strength. Mm -hmm. But in this case, the concept is not biological or physical or, or human per mm -hmm. se. They are saying, give women and men a level playing floor. Field, thank you. Yeah, a level playing field. You are a software engineer, you are a man, I am a software engineer, I'm a woman, but we, can, we, are, we are competing for one position. Let the best person win. Mm. And then the other case of um, equity is the one I just gave you an example, that yeah. if a woman is somewhere, women, it's important for them to be well taken care of. If a woman is pregnant, because most times I've had so many arguments. I've, I, I, the last time I, I had the opportunity of speaking to a woman, she said, oh, she was denying this opportunity simply because she was a woman and at yeah. some point she would get pregnant and, and one day interestingly i was during the the, the months around the 2019 election mm -hmm. where we had i think there was a woman that was contesting for 
president of Nigeria at that time. There were actually two women, mm -hmm. but one backed out. Uh, yeah, so yeah. if you could remember. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and then I was in this vehicle, public vehicle, going somewhere, and I overheard conversations about the election. I chipped in. I said, oh, "Wow!" I just asked that question. I want to. I wanted to get the reaction of people that, "Oh, what if?" We have a woman president. It's going to be nice to have a woman to be the president of Nigeria. And they said, ah, ah, how can a woman be the president? Of some of the men. I say, why? Why is your thing? They say, oh, what will happen to her? What if a woman is pregnant? Is is a president and she gets pregnant? I say, ah, pregnancy is a human thing. It's part of being a woman. So you should respect her or support her in that period. It doesn't mean she's less of a human. So that's if that's I'm, my take on it. If I'm going to ask okay. to Bola, I don't know if Bola is still there. No, right then please. I'd like to come in there. Okay. You see, right. everything boils down to the home front. The societal construct starts with the home as well. When you have gender roles, if we can recondition our minds, eliminate gender roles. Okay, take on some time back while I was serving my classroom. I tried to make, I didn't come like, okay, you male, you female um, class rep. I made a female class rep and I made a male assistant. I just did that as an example that a woman too can stand in key positions and a man can support vice versa. It's not about one must be the head all the time, all the time. The other is just to support. If they can support each other, it's supposed to be the norm, not the other way around. So there is communal growth. In order to project communal growth, you have to start thinking like that. Society has to start thinking like that. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I think it boils down to the third thing that we talked about. And actually... Um, feminism, the ideology of feminism, I think, I think men need it more, you know, men need that, that education much more, I believe, it's my personal opinion, than, than the women. So thanks a lot, um, Bola. Thank you very much, everyone. Demystifying the ideology of feminism it's, is a crucial conversation in the society, whereby we have to continue speaking on these issues till it gains ground. Up next, I'll be calling on Victor Oyekere after the break. Thank you.